Okay, students, uh, we have a request for a address label for a door labeled B1. So, let's go ahead and see if we can complete this job. Let's see, we're going to go to File, New. We have the option for a 2D part or a pipe part. This is going to be a 2D part. Okay. We are going to go up to our icon row. We're going to hit text. Okay. All right. Our text is going to be B. Uh, you know, let's make it a category. B. One. We'll leave it at Arial. Center's going to be left. Uh, she has requested it to be approximately five inches. So we'll make it five. Bold. And we'll make it italic to give it a little bit of character. As you can see, this is what we are left with. We're going to position it as far over in the corner as we can. Bam. Okay, and as with every action, we need to come over and hit our green check. Let's save this. File. Save as. We're going to call this B1, put today's date, and save. Okay, our next order of business is to explode these parts so we have outlines for each individual cutout, like the holes in the bees around the one. In order to do that, we would go to our icon. I explode. Click on our text. Right click to confirm. Hit our green check. And now, as you can see, we have separate shapes for each one of the letters. Okay, so we have our exploded version of our B1. If we were to check this in cam, we can actually see each individual piece now has its cut out. If we would have left that as it was, the torch would have remained on the entire time and we would have had marks all through the drawing. Our next step is to generate this into a G code. So we're going to go to CAM, File, Save As. going to be our last one, our B1, and today's date, save, and our exist, we're going to say yes. Okay, now we're going to come up to our G-code icon, create a G-code file. Now, <clears throat> to keep it consistent with our CAD drawings, because this is a different file type, we're going to label it the same thing, B1. Today's date, save. Okay. We'll give it about 10 seconds. Okay, now we're going to come up to CNC. We're going to come down to file. And we're going to open our G code. Now, our G codes are listed in numeric alpha order. So we should find this, there we go, B1, and, and today's date, okay? Let's open it up. 
Yeah. If you look at this, it looks pretty complex. So, what we're gonna do is go ahead and we're gonna take a look at this code and begin to edit. Wow. As you can see, it's uh, quite elaborate. We went over uh, G01 and G00. Uh, you'll see this line here, G03. It also has I and J commands. Uh, G03 commands are uh, non-linear objects, such as circles, ellipses, uh, certain angles. Uh, the computer generates I and J commands to a... Um, to actually execute these commands. So. Okay, <clears throat> I went in and made the adjustments to this G code. Uh, if I went through it step by step, it would make for a very long video. But at the start of the first shape, I told the torch to turn on. At the end of the shape, I turn, tell it to turn off. Raise the torch. We go to our next point. Tell the torch to turn on. You see down here, I tell it to turn off. I raise the torch. We go to our next point. Lower the torch back to the zero position. Tell it to turn on. Cut out the next shape. Tell the torch to turn off. Raise the torch. Go to our next position. Lower the torch. Tell, tell the torch to turn on. Tell the torch to turn off. Oop, we got a little spelling error there. Torch off. Raise the torch. Go to the next position. Lower the torch back to the zero position. Tell the torch to turn on. Tell the torch to turn off. Uh, we go back to raising the torch. And then we're going to have the torch return home to the zero position. Now uh, we're going to go ahead and save this. I always do save as. Brings up our file name. Click save. Ask us if we want to replace. We hit yes. Okay, now we're going to close this out. Okay, we didn't get any errors, and uh, it looks like we are good to cut. So our next step will be to set up the material and uh, position it for cutting. Our next step is to put the material in place, which I have done, and we want to set the torch to our home position which will be our zero zero. Uh, this particular part, uh, we don't have to worry about tolerance this month, so I have chosen this spot uh, as our point of origin, which is our zero zero. All of our cuts will originate from this spot, and now we will go back to the software and set this as our zero zero point. Okay, to do that, we will go to Program, Set, Zero All. We'll go down to Home, Zero All. Go back up to Set, Zero All one more time. And we are ready to cut. We'll come over to the back of our torch control unit. Turn the unit on. Check and make sure we have air pressure. Come to the front of our control. Since we are cutting sheet metal, we're gonna turn it down to 45 amps. Now the cut speed that I have chosen is 75 
feet per minute, which uh, is, it's a good speed considering we're cutting sheet metal. So, we are gonna go ahead and refresh the command. I'm gonna come down here and hit play, and we are gonna begin our cuts. Are we ready? Here we go. Torch returns to the home position. Uh, let's take a walk over and see how we've done. My door. And this, students, is our finished product. I took the liberty of pressing them the rest of the way out of the metal and grinding now the edges. But this is the final product. And they look beautiful. And the customer says they look beautiful. Two thumbs